what if upate msaya kutreat vizuri eh. akupende akupeki munju mpaka ushuke <laughs> viewers let's watch this video hello beautiful hi what's your name miss bone miss bone which country do you come from kiambu <laughs> Ni ni kanta elewa hizi mambo za Kiambu. Aya, sawa. Welcome to my show. My name is Breeze. I have a few questions for you. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. So if you are to get pregnant with a random guy, huh? After a one night stand. Mm -hmm. Would you flush the baby? Or would you keep it? Okay, if the guy was cute and handsome. Uh. Yeah, see the flash. Uh -huh. Kama li, kama alikuwa mse like anakaa poa. Uh -huh. See the flash do mtoto automatically mm. atakuwa msupo. So uh -huh. see the flash. But so it depends. If ni <laughs> if ni Steve simple boy. So, <laughs> no na flash. <laughs> na flash. And what if ukumbuke hiyo mse? It was just a random meet up and you guys uh, So I want to just have kid. I take care of my kids. Bila kusumana na mtu. Yeah. <laughs> That's my thing. See, see, see. At kuolewa or something. I take care of my kids alone. Ata kama ata support. But mimi I take care of them alone. Yeah. So muna dis muna discourage marriage. Amani. What kitu gani nakufanya uko afraid of marriage let me put it because it seems una ko afraid <laughs> Okay it's because my my parents mm. are separate so oh. so the the marriage didn't work yeah. so so sasa mimi hapo nikachana na hiyo mambo kabisa kabisa yeah. Ah. yeah What if you get to msa kutreat vizuri are you dating in the first place Right now uh. no no, <laughs> no What if upate msa kutreat vizuri Akupende, akupeki munju mbaka ushtuke Mimi ni saa, mimi ya ni treat But at the end, mimi ni tamzalia Hata kitaka ni tamzalia But kukunioa I don't know Atwezi, atwezi oana Mimi ni takuja sleep over Atakuja Yeah, but Kuona atinamuka kila siku na muona hapa hapa No No, no takuzalia tu Yeah Sawa Hey, I I'm happy you men patia your mind. What do you guys think about this situation? What one is akupatia wapi? Okay, TikTok, Miss Bonnet, everywhere. Miss Bonnet Instagram, Miss Bonnet. Yeah. You guys follow her. I think she's amazing. We are out. At one point, Tidy High was the most watched TV show in Kenya. And Miss Morgan even said it. That Tidy High number one for the longest time. It was the top show. According to Abel Mutua or Mkurugenzi or Freddy, the show was getting close to 4.5 million viewers every week. TV sets 4.5 million. So come on, KJ on an average of five. So big was the show that the boss ordered their salaries to be tripled. The salary was tripled. Na tukapatiwa thaw on top just in case uniform imeraruka, viatu zina nini kufanya. Ten kian episodes. Abel Mutua or Freddy is part of the cast that made us love Tidy High, not forgetting other stars like Omosh Kizangila, 
Miss Morgan, Tita Kilunda, Shish, Tanya, Melvin, Piera Makehena, Mr. Temp, and the list is long. This is a team of lucky actors in that almost everyone in the show became a star, unlike the actors who came after them. It's safe to say that Shady High was responsible for the success of all these actors. With time, a lot of the actors quit the show. Some capitalized their fame while others didn't. In the past, we've had disturbing stories about the actors, and some of the actors have emerged to discuss their struggles, with the common struggle being alcoholism. By now, we know the story of Omosh, but there are more stories. This makes me ask a bunch of different questions. Can we really blame them? Where did they go wrong? And also, what are they currently doing? Let's find out. Remember to like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Also follow me on Instagram at ongori.reports and you can support this channel via M-Pesa and send something big. Tidy High was a Kenyan show that began in 2006 and aired every Tuesday at 7.30pm on Citizen Television. The cast which featured some big names like Mr. Tembo, Miss Morgan, OJ, Freddy, Shish and Tanya captivated fans with the exact replication of the troublesome moments in high school. All the actors in the show made Teddy High worth watching. Some were watching because they loved Omosh, some loved OJ or others loved Freddy. I was watching because of people like Tanya, Shish, Pierre McKenna, you all know why. Even though we had a liking for certain actors, we can't say there was a lesser actor because every actor skillfully brought their distinct character to life. The program highlighted school life and the various challenges faced by both the students and staff members and also the ideal way to address the challenges. The show was growing day by day, attracting millions of viewers across Kenya. It was a family show so anyone could watch and that made it grow exponentially. It became one of the most watched programs in Kenya in the early 2000s. It gained a cult-like following, developing a vast and faithful audience who watched every episode. To date, fans still talk about the show and the characters are still celebrated. Gradually, some actors left the show while others had to quit after it was discontinued in 2020 due to the outbreak of COVID-19. A few went on to thrive in acting or other fields, whereas Others' careers dwindled after the show came to an end. So, what happened? Let's start with Dennis Mugo or OJ. In the show, OJ was a bad boy. He was also Freddy's friend and partner in crime. Their chemistry was so strong that they could act seamlessly without needing a script. OJ, you must be delusional because Danny and I are together. His acting skills earned him a spotlight at such a tender age. However, his sudden and quiet departure from the show left fans speculating about what had happened to him. Speaking during a past interview, OJ revealed that his life was never the same again during his time off the screen. I was director at IDI um, for, for a period of time. Then, possibly, I share a mob because I got to the assistant director. Through his YouTube channel, OJ Flicks in October 2020, he narrated how the fame that came with the show saw him get deep into alcoholism, that his family booked him at a rehab center. On the scheduled day to check in, he refused to go, insisting that he would overcome his struggles on his own. In the previous elections in 2022, he vied for the member of county assembly seat or MCA for Ruguru Ngandori Ward in Embu on a UDA ticket but was defeated by Harrison Sami. He also worked for the Embu County Government in the Department of Youth Empowerment and Sports, overseeing the Talent Academy and managing the entire facility. He also got into hosting events and seems to be doing okay. Another actor who fell into alcoholism is Mr. Meposi, the teacher. In 2021, Mr. Meposi or Bernard Mwangi shared his struggle with alcoholism and discussed how difficult working conditions led actors to live their lives without proper planning. During the interview with The Nation, he said that he resorted to alcoholism to numb the constant feeling of guilt that he had failed to provide for his family. 
before indulging in alcohol, Meposi revealed that he was a staunch believer who often preached the word of God. It was until he joined the production that things went south for him. According to him, in all his youth, he never consumed alcohol. He was a very upright person that loved God and even preached his word here and there. Even when he was joining Teddy High, he was very clean, but unfortunately, he slept. It was while he was acting in Teddy High that he started taking alcohol, but it got to us in 2011 when his family split. Owing to this fact, he became depressed and sank deeper into alcohol. According to him, the inconsistent and underpayment that came with the job only drove him deeper into alcoholism and depression. In his words, he said, Before Taidi High, I was working with Citizen Television on a contract basis. I had hoped to venture into news reporting and get a permanent position, but that didn't happen. So when my contract ended, I was left jobless and at the same time needed to provide for my family. I was already known out there as an actor and people expected so much from me, including my family and friends. Meposi added that he doesn't think he'll ever go back to mainstream acting because actors get really frustrated when it comes to getting paid. You have a big name out there, but no money in your pocket. In 2022, he relocated to Karatina in Nyeri to pursue farming, specifically focusing on growing chili for export purposes, and appealed to Kenyans to help him attain that dream. Angel Waroinge, or Miss Morgan, is another notable character. In Tidy High, Miss Morgan was the strict deputy principal. She captivated the audience with her performance. Now listen to me, Mr. Felinda. I have no idea what point you're pulling across, but can you pass the tent to those students? Because they're all alone like sheep without a shepherd. Now fast forward to 2021, Miss Morgan during an interview with Masai Japani on Radio Jumbo addressed the rise of addiction cases among Tidy High cast members, explaining that most individuals at the time had all the money and time to engage in any form of leisure which largely focused on alcohol consumption. She also narrated how she sank into depression and alcoholism. I honestly don't know what caused my depression. I just felt the need to come out and speak on my struggle with depression and also alcoholism, especially in our industry. I think most celebrities fall into depression. Number one, because they are not prepared for fame. When you are famous, you become an easy target and people will judge you for the simplest thing. So you end up living life as per the expectations of society whilst trying to be yourself. I've been through a lot. Mm. I'm just about to be 40. Mm. Yes. Mm. I needed to work on myself. Mm. I'm working on myself. I'm trying to get people to understand. Because will judge you. To move beyond the character, Miss Morgan enrolled in a psychology program and also embarked on acting as well as mentorship and program tours across various schools in Kenya. Additionally, Miss Morgan represented major brands such as Naivas and Faulu as a brand ambassador. <laughs> 